The new Quake 2 remaster is amazing. I just can't understate that. Like, look at the title. Hell, the thumbnail. Can't tell me you didn't read that either. Especially with this. Wow, I should really get started. But where do I start? Oh, I know. So I actually never planned to play this, at least this early. Why, you may ask? It's because I'm replaying Quake 1. It's sort of history with this franchise, not including this horrible over video right here, or my first video edited with Premiere Pro. Now, or maybe that's why I love Quake. I hope that's not the only reason, but if I do for any reason, it was that when I was bored in school, I would be playing this game. And I even finished it first in school using Webquake, which is a source port for, you guessed it, Chrome. It's actually a really good source port, which you can play completely on the web with full saves for free without downloading anything, and here's the site if you're curious. I would say it's better than an extension webway, especially since it allows you to play the full game and you don't even have to download anything. Man, I've been on topic for so long that I probably have zero retention at this point, so if you're still here, you're up for a treat, let me say. And just go comment Frozen Exact if you're still here. <laughs> Quake 2. The game has been rebuilt from the ground up using the Ketz engine and has all new models which remove this weird vertice jumping and all around just look better while still looking near perfect to the original vision. The improvements are so subtle but so tasteful that it'll just have you look like this. At least for me, I don't know about you. Co-op also works great, and I saw no lag, especially with the fact that I was using a LAN VPN as my GOG account didn't work at the time. But I've seen other people use it just fine, and even if I was using a LAN VPN, it's quite impressive how well the networking code is, as my friend is from Texas, and I'm in New York. Pretty far, if I say so myself. I haven't fully tried multiplayer as I'm not very good with Quake 2's weapon system as I am with original Quake or Doom Combat, but from what I've seen, other improvements in game and with co-op, I can confidently say the Night Dive did a great job. And so is the campaign. Like, have I talked about the fact that you get? One, the amazing base game. Two, two DLCs for extra content, including Play 264, which makes it three technically, which is a new port of the Nintendo 64 version, which features a different campaign. That's pretty cool. And number three, you also get the all-new Call of the Machine, which is made fittingly by Machine games. They are the people responsible for the new Wolfenstein series, which I have finished the New Order recently and I'm starting the old one. It's probably gonna be really cool. And on top of that, they also have a long history with Quake mapping, and it's very much evident as it's one of the most demanding expansions putting the Switch to a halt. Just kidding. <laughs> Just a little low. Still way better than Breath of the Wild and by extension Tears of the Kingdom. I'd probably guess as well, since Breath of the Wild was 30 FPS. Okay, light spoilers. With the new expansion, Quake 1 and 2 are finally connected. Funny enough, Quake 2 was gonna be a whole other franchise called War spelled with a O. More info about that in this amazing documentary by Notebook. It's great. And they have some Doom 2016, Prey, and other documentaries of its software games and other titles. The Shrog are, in theory, now said to be controlled by Shiv Nigaroth. A beautiful Lovecraftian name to clip and get me cancelled like I should me. But in all seriousness, it's really sick to see one of my favorite franchises actually getting connected to each other, like Bioshock getting connected to Infinite with the DPCs. Even better, we might as well have a new Shrog and Lovecraftian Quake game, or even better, just a new Doom game. Joking. But as much as that would be amazing for Doom's 30th anniversary, I really want to see the Quake franchise getting the Doom 2016 treatment. And if you want to know more about that game, then you can watch my review of Doom 2016. <laughs> Little plug there. But yeah, a new Quake remake would be amazing. Seeing a System Shock recently got a remake, and it seems weird to reboot such an influential game franchise. And with that, Bloodborne really needs to get ported to PC. Please, I'm dying to play it. See what I did there? Like, in Souls game, and you dialogue. Yeah. Job Simulator Part 2, anyone? Have a nice day, and see ya!